Have you heard of a little thing called Discord? Well, Discord is an amazing app where you can interact with gaming communities and content creators such as myself more directly. It's an app that is just great for community building. I'm one of the owners of a Kingdom Hearts Discord server called The Union. We are growing crazy fast. We have over a thousand members in the Discord server and I would love to have you be one of them. If you don't have a Discord account, it takes like less than a minute to make one. Seriously. Seriously. So create an account and join the Discord server today to get a chance to talk to some of the members of our community and some of its creators as well. If you wish to join the Discord server, just click the link down below. We look forward to seeing you there. Now let's get on with the video. What's going on ladies and gentlemen of YouTube, my name is Prodigy and welcome to another Kingdom Hearts video on the channel. Now I wasn't going to make a video about this originally, though some of you in a live stream the other day were really urging me to. Today's video we are going to be talking about the next Kingdom Hearts video game. I get super excited even saying that. So let me give you the rundown. Square Enix a couple of days ago put up job listings for a new Kingdom Hearts game to be developed. Among these listings were positions for UI designer, effect designer, and technical artist. This article was originally reported by kh13.com, link below in the description. There is a decent number of interesting things here. Some of them we expected, but are still extremely nice to know. Under UI designer, there's a part that says need knowledge of developing for the PlayStation 4 and the Xbox One. No switch to be mentioned, meaning this game is likely to be intended solely for the PS4 and Xbox One, similar to Kingdom Hearts 3. That doesn't mean all possibilities of a new Kingdom Hearts game on Switch are gone though. They could easily just port it to Switch, make a dedicated port for it to the Switch like they did with Dragon Quest XI and many, many other games. Another thing implied here is that the next Kingdom Hearts game will indeed be using the Kingdom Shader as used in Kingdom Kingdom Hearts 0.2 and Kingdom Hearts 3. For those not aware as to what exactly the Kingdom Shader is, it's the art direction going into each separate Disney world making them look like their respective Disney movies. Highest examples of this would be the CGI and cutscenes in worlds like the Caribbean and Toy Box. Looking insanely similar to their respective Disney movies, which is a massive, insane accomplishment to have a game that looks like a Pixar or Disney movie movie, which is a big thing people were saying going into Kingdom Hearts 3 and something people still say coming out of it. Now none of this should come as any crazy surprise because since they put so much work into Kingdom Hearts 3, it was imagined that they would go a similar direction with the next saga since they now have all the assets. Though the reason it's still comforting to hear is because growing up with the Kingdom Hearts series, the amount of consoles you needed to buy to play each Kingdom Hearts game was a little ridiculous I'm not gonna lie so having Kingdom Hearts games continue to be on the most powerful consoles is a very good thing because that'll help with the quality of games since there won't be as many limitations. It's interesting however that there's no mention of the next gen consoles on the list. The next generation will be starting at the end of next year which I'm super excited for and it's assumed and highly rumored that the consoles will have backwards compatibility so I guess Yes, it's nothing to worry about, but still interesting. Another thing to note is that they will be reusing the Unruh 4. This is very important because since they should have all the assets they used from Kingdom Hearts 3 and have experience with the engine, it means that the next Kingdom Hearts game shouldn't take long at all. It shouldn't take five plus years or anything, which I believe is probably the longest development time for a Kingdom Hearts game that Kingdom Hearts 3 had, which is crazy when you think about it because people will have been quote anticipating paying the title for 10 plus years, but it was actually only in development for about 4 to 5. I believe the next Kingdom Hearts game will be out within the next 2 years, probably around the time the PS5 launches or a couple months later. We've never had to wait long for new Kingdom Hearts games, so I see no reason why that would start now. This is all amazing information to hear even if we could have guessed half of these things for the Kingdom Hearts games. There is a certain feeling of comfort I just get knowing that the next Kingdom Hearts game isn't going to be some exclusive to the Switch 
thing where I'm playing with one Joy-Con or even like swinging around my Keyblade with the Joy-Cons. That actually sounds a little cool, but I, I don't prefer it. I don't prefer it. It's nice to know that the next title, which is probably not going to be Kingdom Hearts 4, is going to be built upon the new foundation that Kingdom Hearts 3 set which is a beautiful foundation to build upon. So many Kingdom Hearts games play so differently, and that's something I love about the series, but also something that was a result of so many games being on different consoles. One of the hardest things growing up with Kingdom Hearts was that it was on so many consoles, and you would end up spending like potentially thousands of dollars on these different consoles coming out just to play a new Kingdom Hearts game. Now, not that many people actually did that. A decent amount did. There were just a lot of Kingdom Kingdom Hearts games people didn't experience until the HD collections. It didn't help that a lot of Kingdom Hearts games weren't multiplot either. I think Kingdom Hearts 3 is actually the only multiplot Kingdom Hearts game I can think of off the top of my head. Kingdom Hearts 1 and 2 were exclusive to PS2, still exclusive to PlayStation, you can't find those anywhere else unless you're emulating or something. You had original chain of memories on the Game Boy Advance, rechain on the PS2 as well, so you had three Kingdom Hearts games on the PS2 which was fine, so you were at least able to play Kingdom Hearts 1 through 2 experience that journey on PS2. We had two Kingdom Hearts games on the DS and Days and Recoded. Yeah, Birth by Sleep on the PSP, Dream Drop on the 3DS. Union Cross is probably the most accessible a Kingdom Hearts game has ever been being on mobile and everyone has a smartphone. And I think technically speaking that would be the most popular Kingdom Hearts game, but we're in an era now where you can experience all the Kingdom Hearts games on PS4. Of course games like Days and Recoded they weren't remastered for PS4. They were simply, well, the cutscenes were remastered and made into a movie form, which is perfectly fine. I know some people were hoping for a Days remake or Recoded remake, but I feel like that would have been a little difficult, and I'm kind of fine with what we got. Personally, I didn't enjoy the gameplay of Days that much, so I was perfectly fine, and I find the experience to be more enjoyable uh, having it be a movie. But it's highly likely that now the next Kingdom Hearts game will have the command menu similar to the number titles, while also looking like a number title. I'm so excited because non-number titles going forward are going to be playing like the number titles, at least that's what it's looking like. So having each Kingdom Hearts game be of the quality or close to the quality of Kingdom Hearts 3 or 2 or 1 is insane. Because a lot of people look at the number titles as like, okay, these are the standards for the Kingdom Hearts series. Now there's a strong fan base for every single Kingdom Hearts game. There's a lot of people that show Kingdom Hearts 1. There's a lot of people that show Kingdom Hearts 2, Rechain. I have even been seeing recently, there's a lot of people that have come out of nowhere who are like shilling recoded which i respect a lot but that just goes to show you how much this series has impacted people and how in each single kingdom hearts game there's something that people can find out of it and enjoy about it and that's really something that's made me love the series so much and it's why it's my favorite series there's something to love about like every kingdom hearts game so potentially like having a non-numbered title with the command menu that plays like fine that isn't days at 0.2 i kind of mix in with kingdom hearts 3 a little bit but having a new title that's like dedicated built for command menu on console giving you a similar experience to the number titles like that sounds pretty crazy especially for a non-number title which i might make a whole separate video about like talking about rambling about how non-number titles for the kingdom hearts series are going to be like bigger than they ever really were before i mean they were already pretty big deals like dream drop and birth by sleep that is some pivotal storytelling in those games but i think that's going to be the case stepped up a notch going into the next saga and i'm super excited about that i'm sure that after final fantasy 7 remake and kingdom hearts 3 remind we'll start getting tons of information regarding the next title and the series there's so much to look forward to regarding kingdom hearts nowadays i'm just constantly getting myself hyped up man i can't wait to see what the future of the series has to offer i remember so many people were saying that we were going to have the most ultimate dry period of all time after kingdom hearts 3 release like no news no nothing for like two years years and it's been the exact opposite there's just so much to look forward to so getting all this information is really comforting and really exciting but if you enjoyed today's video you already know what to do leave a like 
share the video with a friend or family member and last but not least if you have not already and want to become a part of the union all you have to do is hit that red little subscribe button down below leave a comment as well telling me what you think about all of this and if you're as excited as i am for the next kingdom hearts game thank you guys so much for watching my name is prodigy and i will talk to you guys soon peace out